this game uh, against Argentina just gone seemed to be just a complete uh, 180 from what we'd seen so far from France, which had been okay. I mean, you look at those wins over Australia and Peru, but they're hardly, um, you know, shifting the world on its axis. And then that draw with Denmark, and all, some of the players and Deschamps coming for a bit of criticism from this one. Mm. So to a degree, uh, like as as much of a basket case as Argentina have been throughout this World Cup, I'm not too sure everybody saw the complete dominance coming that France showed on Saturday. Yeah, I think you're right. But the players always said to us, don't don't worry about us. Don't worry about the group stages. Forget about the group stages. It's all about knockout stage games. It's all about, you know, being at your peak at the right time. There's no need to pick too early. Look at look at Portugal. You know, mm. first first game was fantastic. The rest was rubbish. Uh, very similar for Spain, for example. So they were always saying to us, don't worry. Don't worry about us. You know, let's do what we've planned to do with Deschamps before. And in fairness, they delivered by being, you know, by improving between the group stages and the last 16 with that game against Argentina. And let's see if they can do the same against Uruguay. But um, I think it was important for them, though, psychologically, even if they were saying it, to actually do it, to actually playing better, mm. uh, to have that formation with Matuidi as a left winger that works. I think Deschamps was under a lot of pressure as well on that. To have the key players like, like Mbappe, like Griezmann to a certain degree, Pogba, Conte, uh, even the, the back four as well, the, the two young fullbacks and um, and, and Pavard to deliver as well. I mean, you know, Pavard, that was his ninth cap. The, the kid played for Lille and now for, then for Stuttgart, not even in the Bundesliga. And for him to come and play like this in the last 16 against Angel Di Maria, against Argentina, scoring the goal he scored that will never ever score again, similar one, I think it's pretty special. So it looked like, you know, everything really went our way in that game. But like I said, you, you know, there's, there's a far more difficult, toughest, a game to come against Uruguay, a diff very different style of football.